All right, we move on. Next thing to do is to assemble all the timing gear. We have a shaft here that needs to be done. And uh, we have all the tensioners, the chains, the main tensioner, uh, all the slippers, and obviously the main component itself, and also the two camshaft sprockets, and the infamous, infamous filter that goes behind the timing chain tensioner, and here all of the um, locking tabs. A lot of things to put together, and it will take a little while, and as soon as I uh, have got my ass organized and know what direction I'm going in and how these things are all going to go together, I will start recording it and you will see it. Time to start the timing chain install. Uh, these are all the various components, nuts and bolts and washers and a little locking tab, uh, the various guides, uh, the tensioner, the brass filter, the uh, cam uh, sprockets. And, and one thing guys, on these cam sprockets, do take them apart and clean them. Uh, the reason I say that is because then when it comes to actually setting this up on the car, and you have to pull this out and give it a little turn it'll it'll go back in nicely into the teeth you see all these nice little teeth here and these nice little teeth in here um, it'll just go back in nice and easy and you won't have to struggle with it and that will make your life a lot easier and uh, save your patience a little so just just remember that uh, you know that that should be taken apart and cleaned properly I tend to do mine on the electric wire brush, you, you do whatever works best for you. Uh, what else we've got here, we've got all the locking tabs here, uh, the two chains, now these two are the old chains. One thing you should always do, just in case, is measure the chains, the new chains against the old chains. And also when you're assembling this, if you're not sure where something goes, uh, for whatever reason, go to your parts manual and you will find that there is a very handy uh, spanner that has been put in the <laughs> correct spot just so you can flip it open and, and look at the, uh, the diagram that shows you all the various components. Um, if you haven't got one of these manuals, do go get one. It, it's well worth it. The parts catalogue um, is just so, so helpful. It really is. Um, I can't guarantee you'll get a free wrench with it. Now, uh, on the chains, I've already opened this box and I've marked them L and U, lower and upper. The lower is the shorter of the two chains. And as I said, I've already taken it out of the box because I wanted to make sure. And I just rest it along next to the original. And you can see the amount of links are the same. The chain is the same. Um, I haven't done this one now, so let's uh, let's do this. Look at that. Comes nicely wrapped. There's my scissors. Any old scissors will do. And let's see if this one's uh, the same length as the one I've taken out. If not, you're about to see a man cry. There you go, exactly the same link. Now, one thing to be aware of, on this old chain of mine, I did notice, there, look, it has a joining link. These other chains don't. This is not good. Uh, for one thing, you have to make sure it goes in the correct direction, otherwise it could possibly come undone. Um, but if you buy decent chains, and... I want to say these are decent chains as I just double check it now. This would be embarrassing if I found a link. No, none of these have the uh, joining link 
Uh, you remember when you had a bicycle and you always had to make sure that it went in the direction. So there we are, we have the, the, the nice new ones. My nice new lower one, which I'm going to put on that box to remind me that's where it goes. And this one, which is the upper one. Again, same principle. I'm going to put it on the box that I've written a U on. Okay, the next thing is to get this apart, which <laughs> as I was going to say, it was going to be really easy. And that's just so you can get the chains on. I'll tell you what, why don't I undo this nut and washer and remove that plate? Then it should, in theory, of course it's fiddly, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't want to do it easily for me because I'm videoing. Here you go. Come on, come on, baby. There you go. Yep. And again, assembly lube is going to be the key of the day. So I'll be putting assembly lube on this before I put it all together. And then I'll put the chains on. And then put this back on. I'm going to give that a bit of a clean in there. Um, Let's get a wire brush in there, just give that a bit of a clean out. And then we put it all together. So next thing you'll see is me lubing it all up and uh, putting it together, putting the correct chain in the correct place. All right. One second, let me get that cleaned up. All right, assembly time. First of all, we'll put a little dab of lube on this. Dabalooba and on here too. I was say you can't be over generous with that stuff, but by God, is it sticky? Okay, that little baby resides. Come on, in you go. That's it. Goes in there. Now. It, it won't be turning much. In fact, I'll tell you what, let me see if I can pull that out. I didn't put somewhere I wanted to. I was too busy paying attention to other things. Although it did get there. Okay, it got to where I wanted it, which was here. Here we go again with the damn allergy. Sorry, guys. All right, now we've got that on there. And it, although I've done that uh, shaft, I like to go crazy with this stuff. Okay, and this, it can go on either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> of course it doesn't want to go on easy, does it? You do it in practice for this, and it just goes straight on. There we go. Oh, ooh, oh dear, that felt good. Sorry. <coughs> really a little um. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Now the next thing to do is to put the chains on. What you say? How can you put the chains on now? Nothing's ready. Well, it's as ready as it's going to be. And I have upper and lower. So first we are going to grab the upper one. And just tuck it in. Just get it to bite. There you go. Just leave it there for the moment. Now we grab the lower one. Again, it doesn't matter. Alright, and the next thing is to put this on. Now I'm going to put a bit of lube in here too. Of course if your fingers are too big to do this you can always get your wife to do it. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> okay so now we can slide this onto here yeah, man. And sometimes it needs a bit of persuasion. And the reason you have to do all of it 
like this is because you can't get the chains on otherwise. It's a real p -p 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 bugger. All right, then get your little timing tensioner plate here, and we'll just put a dibby dabby looby, dibby dabby dooby. Slip this on, it'll only go on one way. There it is. Not forgetting your star washer and placing your nut on there. Placing your nuts on there just loosely. So loosely it keeps falling off. Be nice if I could get this to go on, wouldn't it? Come on. I'll put some hair around it. <laughs> there you go. Don't miss when there's got that. Alright, now uh, we have the washers on these and then the four nuts. I am four nuts. You are four nuts. We are four nuts. <sighs> oh, what was that silly schoolboy rhyme? Oh, using letters, yes. Uh, too wise you are, too wise you be. I see you are too wise for me. All of that done with letters and numbers, not words. And of course, you know I always go on about the uh, the two Ronnies, Ronnie Corbett and Ronnie Barker. They do some marvellous sketches, did some marvellous sketches, with twisting words. Uh, they did one about ham and eggs in a cafe. F-U-N-E-M-X, S-V-F-M-N-X. Which, of course, is, do you have any ham and eggs? Yes, we have ham and eggs. Um, silly stuff, but amusing. Well, I'm easily amused, you can tell. All right, next is to get these spaces in. And go in here. But, what? And the only reason I'm placing these here at the moment, and I am going to drop the bolts through without the, uh, the washers on, because I just want them held in place. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I tighten these up, it'll hopefully hold those uh, in place. And if not, it doesn't matter, because then it means I know that they can go um, with the... Oh, come on, engage brain cell. Uh, they can go in even though it's done up. Oops, made a mistake here. Undo this. I wasn't paying attention. Take washer off, take cog off, I forgot to put this in, again leave it up, that's it, drop the spring in there, drop that in there, that's it, make sure that moves up and down nicely, if it doesn't figure out why, and fix it. Okay, so that on there, beautiful. Washer goes on there. Oh, look at that! Yeah, it's pushing it back up. That's great. Oh, look at that! It went straight on this time. Of course it did. All right. Uh, next thing, I'll get a wrench and tighten these down. Uh, then, I believe we're pretty much ready to actually put it on the engine. I got sticky fingers now. Do you think I am the Rolling Stones? This. Believe it or not, is take two. I made a fundamental mistake, which I may or may not show you. However, now is the time to assemble this kit, for want of a better word. Put the plate on here, I have my top timing chain fit out around the outside. Now, of course, it does need to also go around this cog. So, let's get this in position. Well, let's give it an in position and get it in position and get the chain in there. Okay, so this is how it will reside. 
and that cog there and that cog there and then of course these fit in here and the other one fits in here so then you have your nice neat setup now don't forget to put this chain on otherwise you're going to regret it and I'll just tuck it over to the side there now take your main plate line it all up slip it on there will be a bit of jiggery poker oops excuse me a bit of jiggery pokery to get it on just to make sure Alright, let's get the washers on. Gotta get this washer on. Gotta get this washer on. Don't think those were the lyrics. Okay. Good and tight. Actually, they're not, they're just finger tight. Now, I'm not forgetting the plate, pushing the tensioner back, put the washer on here, get the nut, on, put some hair around it, you'll get it on. See, there you go. All right. So this is now the chain set up, everything is good and ready. What I will do is I'm going to uh, probably hmm, do some wire or something to hold those in position. Or I might even find a couple of nuts, but that's a minor detail that I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Let me see. No, they're not going to go anywhere. Alright, so now we just need to do these up. Let's get the uh, relevant tool. One of these. Set the ratchet in the right direction, otherwise it doesn't work. At the moment I'm just pinching them up. And what I'm going to do is once I've got it on, all right. So here we go. Now we take this across here and we loop it over the cog at the bottom. There you go, see, there you go, loopy loopy. Now what we do need to do is to get some bolts in here. I can probably, let's see if I can do this. Not sure if I can get these in here. It's a bit of a fiddle, but uh, we will try. Tell you what, give me that screwdriver. Now these two bolts are special, in case you weren't aware. They have slots in them. It's not easy to do, I grant you. But, a little bit of jiggery pokery here, guys. Whoops, come back, come back, come back. Don't you dare try and get away from me. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to get it as tight as I need it with a screwdriver, but if I can just get it to hold it, that would be great. Of course, you do have to get it in the hole, as she said last night. Sorry, guys, this is, uh, it's a bit fiddly, so you, you may not be getting a good view. In 
for that. I do apologise, but it's more important that I see than you. <laughs> okay, I got one screw in there. Screw bolt. Nuts. Good old bad schoolboy joke about the lunatic that got into a laundrette and raped all the women. Headline in the papers the next day. Nuts, screws, washers and bolts. <laughs> oh, and I know you all thought that was just so funny. Feel free to use that joke. <laughs> Perhaps I should have said he ran away afterwards. But you get the idea. Nuts, screws, washers and bolts. Especially for all you grease monkeys out there. Ah, grease. No, not John Revolting and Olivia Neutron Bomb. I'm talking about real grease. Motorcycle grease. Because I used to be in my youth what was called a greaser. Because I dared to ride a motorcycle. Okay. That's good. Now, we've got to start getting these top ones in. And they are mit der Speicher. So, hopefully if I, oh, if I can get it down there. <laughs> and then you drop it. And as my mum used to say to my sister, whatever you do, don't drop them. <laughs> I ain't got a funny feeling she did. Oh. And again, nothing is tight. Oops. Hey, let's get back in the hole. Again, that's also what she said last night. <laughs> yeah, in my fucking dreams. In my dreams. Yeah, well, you can dream. Just trying to. I know I'm keeping this going, guys, and you may find it a little boring, but. What I'm trying to demonstrate to you is how fiddly this can be. And I'm sure, you know, oh yeah, I could do it with a pair of pliers and... <laughs> Where's the fun in that? See? In fact, what I've got to do is loosen these screws off a, just a little bit, as I need to move this thing and it doesn't want to move because somebody tightened it up. I don't know who did that, but we'll get him later and shoot him. Up against the void with you when the revolution comes, eh? Huh? Mm, come on up. Ski. There we go. Okay, I'm just getting these uh, pinching up. You've got to admit, this is really uh, remarkably interesting, isn't it? <laughs> oh, piddle bum. Like my sister, I dropped them again. Hey, sis. Now, nah, nah, she'll never watch this. It's just a great pity, but there you go. I could get her as a subscriber. She still had to watch it. All right, all of these are now in finger tight. They all go around the things they should go around. Fortunately, they didn't before. Uh, okay. All right, I'm not going to show you me tightening up these nuts and then tightening up these again just to make sure. Um, I can assure you I will do it because that's what I'm going to do and that is pretty much it for the timing chain next is to put on the guides and the tensioner I will show you 
that occurring. Okay. Okay, so now I have to put on all of the uh, guides, the tensioner, the slippers, whatever you want to call them. So let's uh, let's get a pair of scissors and open up these babies. See what we've got here. Okay. So I recognize this one. Hmm. Let's cut it off the other end just in case I have to send this one back. I don't recall removing this one. Whilst I must admit it looks familiar, that could be because I've worked on so many damn cars. I'm going to put that bag up there. That reminds me which came out of which. Tensioner, we know. Okay. By the way, guys, this really is a good idea to cut these bags open rather than rip them. Um, the only reason I say that is because obviously, if you do have to send them back, yeah, you know, th these suppliers they get they get things wrong sometimes, and you also do. You know, you ask them for the wrong thing. Yeah, I want one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're really not sure. Okay. And if it's a neat cut, it's obviously easier for them. Okay, those two I recognise, and the big one I recognise. I do not recognise the other one. Um, also, you will note here I have various um, tabs to, to lock them. This one, of course, is uh, going to be way down the road. So let's uh, have a look and see what goes where. All right, as expected, and as I previously mentioned, a couple of the guides are wrong. This one goes in here. And again, they're gonna be fiddly to actually get the bolts in, but you can do it. Um, that weird one that I didn't recognize uh, does not belong in this engine. Um, I'm not sure where it belongs to. Um, so I put the two bolts in here so that I don't lose them. And I'll have to figure out uh, when I get on the website uh, what uh, guide it is that I need there. It's kind of weird because it... I think it's one that pushes it out that way um, and then these two go well not there they go on the inside um, so those I'm gonna have to undo these bolts again uh, mistake on my part but hey you watch my mistakes you don't make them okay and if you do then there will be severe chastity and uh, I will have to send you uh, a hooker with a whip in her hand <laughs> I should be so lucky. Damn it. Okay, um, so those have got to go in there. I will be fitting those. I'm not going to show you me doing it. I'm also not going to show you me doing this, what I'm doing right now. Um, the thing after that will be the tensioner itself. Uh, I can put it in, but I can't release the tension because I need that other guide in or slipper or whatever you want to call it, the one that goes here. So I will have to uh, look at that and figure out which one I need and send back the one I didn't need. Ah, uh, what a load of hassle. But there you go. That's, that's the way it goes sometimes. Hello? Do you need this, Gary? Yep, I'll need that. Yep, yep, yep. Send it to me, send it to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you end up with the wrong one. So I probably have just returned eight different parts that were wrong um, sometimes the guys that you're dealing with whilst they are familiar with the Jaguar they are not as familiar as you are so it's always good if you can have the part numbers available um, it helps them you know you, 
I used to work in a car parts store, and I can tell you that uh, you know people will come in and say, well, why don't you know this, and why can't you just look through the shelves? Well, I think the average, and I, and I could be wrong with this number, of parts on any one car is 10,000. 10,000 parts per car. Imagine that multiplied by all the different models. And then these idiots come into the store and say, well, I need this. And they hand you a piece of metal. And you're expected to know what it is. Um, you know, there are limits. If you can't do the work, then, well, too bad. Um, I'm afraid uh, when I worked in the car parts store, I had a number of idiots come in. And, well, can't you just look through the shelf? It's just a relay, a switch. Yeah, but it was 10,000 parts per car times 300 cars for argument's sake. And you expect me to be able to just walk up to it and find it. Sorry, got on my soapbox then a bit, didn't I? Still, never mind, eh? Just bear that in mind when you go into a car parts store. Be as helpful as you can. If they ask you, yeah, make a model, they're doing it because the computer asks them that and they'll try and get you the right part. And I will grant you a lot of the people in the car parts stores are monkeys. That's because they pay peanuts. All right, sorry, I, I really did get on my soapbox there. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, I'm going to do this up now. Uh, I'm going to put these guides on. I'm going to figure out what the part is I need. Then, hmm, tensioner. I'll show you me putting the tensioner in and that magic little filter that if you don't put in, you're in deep duty. All right, uh, let me get the other pieces on first, then we do the tensioner. This is the original tensioner, the locking tab, the piston, the tensioner body, spacer, slipper, and that infamous filter. So I have a nice new filter here, with two bolts, and a nice new locking tab. Plus, here, I do have the tensioner. Now, okay, and it does come with its nice new um, spacer. Okay, so we're not going to pull this little thing out, because if it doesn't, gong! So let us get this. I must admit, I'm not impressed with that, but I'm going to put it in anyway because it's new. That one looks better quality. Hmm. Trick. And I'm going to put the old one back in. It's not so buggered up with sulfur like this one is. Sorry, Mr. S&G Barrett. Quality of that is... That's not acceptable. Alright, let's get this baby over here and on. This filter was cleaned anyway, I did clean it. And into the hole you must go. Okay. <sighs> Next. Woo! This is very awkward with this slipper thing on here, this release mechanism. You have to turn it, otherwise the damn thing gets in the way. Alright, here we go. So, and putting it through what is the locking tabus. Tabitha. Hmm, Tabitha. Hmm. Oh god. Woo, damn. That's... Oh. Wow, these new chains 
or tight already and I haven't even <laughs> got anything on it. Actually, let me try doing that, as they say, by hand. I seem to recall another user had the same problem, that they just were so tight. the whole wow that is ridiculous and guys you may also get the same problem as I got here damn <laughs> Make sure you get that plate on the right way around, otherwise you are going to starve the chain. And that is not good. Okay. My oh my. That is not easy to fit, guys. I'll tell you that right now. When you come to do this. It ain't going to be easy. I think I've got it. I think it's caught. Yes, that one's caught. No, oh, that one's not. Oh, and the plate's dropped. Damn it. Ooh, be careful of that. That will cause you all sorts of issues if you don't do that right. I thought I'd be a timing chain tensioner. All right, so looks like I've got that in the drain holes. Oops, sorry about that. Hope that didn't hurt your eyes. And again. Okay. Pinch them up. All right, and that, whoo, damn. That is, uh, it's almost like a belt tensioner. Um, probably the fact that this piece of plastic is in here, it's pushing it, which is, is not helping matters. Um, I'm gonna bend those tabs over. I'm not gonna waste my time showing you that. Waste my time, waste your time. Um, I've got this guide on. Let's go look at all the guides I took out and see what one I need for there. I've got a feeling I know exactly what it looks like. But let's let's have a look here. Yeah, that's going back and that's going back. Uh, where's my old ones? Here's my old ones. And this is another thing that I do that you should always do until you finish the job. Keep all the old parts. You know, they're gooey, they're messy, but they are great for reference. Oh, shit, what did that one look like? Oh, I don't know what that one looked like. Okay, we know where that one went. We know where that one went. We know where that one went, and that's the one we need. Not that other thing. So this is the one I need to find on the website and get it ordered. All right, and I uh, can't think I'm going to need any of them. But, hey, they were part of a kit, so I'm kind of stuck with those now. Maybe I can find a use for them. Can't think what, but you're kidding me. Yeah, no, they weren't for there. <laughs> All right, shutting you down on this particular episode, guys. Um, as you can see, I need to get that ordered. Once I've done that, I can uh, continue with this. Um, a little side note, these ones that I put in up here, uh, you, you should really, of, I should really, of, 
put them in when I was assembling this whole unit. I forgot. It, yeah, it's annoying. Um, but of course, you've got the spacers there, you've got the guides, you've got the chains, so that's kind of tricky because pieces are falling everywhere. So these probably, in all honesty, should go in afterwards like I did it. But it does mean you need to loosen these nuts off and then just get it slightly apart and then figgledy diggledy and you'll get it in there. And that's the way it goes with girls too. Sometimes you have to figgledy diggledy before you get it in there. And I think they like it. But they wouldn't tell us that because that would be terrible. All right. This really is the end of this particular episode. Next um, what is next? Once I've done that and that, I guess I can put the timing cover on, put the oil pan on, and once they're done, then my final would be to put the head on. The head's got a long way to go yet. So yep, uh, it'll be timing cover next, oil pan, water pump. My rebuilt water pump that I did. And don't forget guys, I can do them for you. Shipping, 50 bucks in labor to take it apart, powder coat it, put it back together and send it to you. You provide all the parts. If you want me to get the parts, I can do it. But then instead of 50 bucks labor, you're looking at 100 bucks because I have to get the uh, the water pump kit sim shit, blah, blah, shipped to me. It's better if you get it and then send me the whole package at once. And then I will clean it up, powder coat it, send it back to you. But you're looking at 50 bucks in labor plus the shipping costs to send it to you wherever you are. Okay. Really, this is the end now. Catch you guys later. Thank you.